a status update on Christopher Curtis? Is he close to returning? Or? Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I found out um, this afternoon, late. We had meetings. Um, that our doctors have recommended that you know Chris, because of his medical issues, won't, would not be able to play again. Um, I literally uh, tried to grab Chris. I said, Chris, uh, listen. You know we have meetings. I'm going to the scrimmage. I said, uh, let's make sure we get together tomorrow and talk about this because my normal procedure is, you know, I get the student athletes and we call the parents before we announce anything. And then um, I was made aware when I was coming off the bus by my director of operations that uh, Chris had, had tweeted that. And I saw Chris just now. I said, Chris, you know, why would you do that? He said, Coach, I know I made a mistake. Um, you know, I should have came in and spoken to you first. So those things happen with kids, and, and that's the situation. Coach, you said uh, you were waiting for somebody to emerge at running back uh, Saturday. Has somebody emerged there in the last well, few days? No, I, 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 don't, I wouldn't right now say, hey, you know, here's the guy we're going to give the ball 30 times to. I would not say that right now today. That may change in the next couple of days, but, you know, right now I think you'll see uh, uh, a couple of guys and we're discussing, you know, exactly who they are. Is Javante McFarland in that match? Yes, he is. You know, we put him in, we moved him a couple of days ago, probably two days ago. Really try to, you know, it's very difficult when you move someone in two days. Um, you know, Devontae was a two-sport type of guy, went both ways, played uh, defensive back, and then played running back. And, uh, and we wavered back and forth, or I should say not we, I wavered back and forth on where to put him. There was a point that we thought we were going to get somebody, another running back in here at the time, so I'm not allowed to mention that name, I guess, because of the rules. Maybe I am, but I don't think I will, just in case. So I thought that Devontae was a big, strong, fast, can hit. So we thought safety, maybe we would go into a, a, a linebacker because he's that type of kid. And then when the situation came up of, of you know, the running back situation where you know no one was really taking it, and you know, we just moved Devontae over there, and he said he's he done a nice job. Coach, just as far as at this point in camp, moving towards the now starting to prepare for first game as you get closer, how does that change the, the focus, what you guys are trying to do day to day to day? Well, I think it changes drastically. Um, you know, what happens now in the course of the next couple of days, you know, evaluations go in, roles start being placed on players, uh, things have to be communicated well so the player understands his role uh, and accepts it doesn't mean he has to like it. And then, obviously, we start preparing ourselves strategically for our first opponent. I know you, uh, Doug, I know you obviously, you know, practice with who's on the field. Uh, but, you know, when you have something like, you know, the Curtis situation come up, you had to be thinking down the road, like, this is where I'm going to plug him in when he comes back. Is that, does your thought process change now? Do you have to look at other options at, at the backup? process for me is usually, you know, when you have an injury and there's a possibility of that occurring, you know, where, where someone may not be able to play again, I think once that possibility is brought up, you immediately shift. So uh, you had already done that then? I've done that because we weren't really sure. No one was really sure what it was. So, you know, when it goes from someone else to someone else and, you know, someone's not sure and you're going to specialists and everything, once that, that starts for me, yeah. You know, I know it's probably going to be a, a long situation. So we already start making that, that decision. So, you know, we feel, you know, I, I feel uh, good right now. You know, Andy Phillips has played in a game for us. You know, Sean, I think, is playing well enough for us to, uh, to win. And then we just have to wait out the decision on Justin. And when Justin comes back, he should be, uh, you know, pretty good there. We've got some good young tackles that have played well. but. You know, lack the experience probably that we need. So, you know, we could always move one of those those inside guys outside, you know, like guard. We're probably, you know, not even talking to Coach Atkins. I don't even bring that up because I don't, I don't think we'll get that. Coach, you know, you talked about someone stepping up from the running back position. Have you seen anyone step up when it comes to receiver and really, you know, out there in camp talking with Coach Moore really stand out? I'm struggling a little bit with that. You know, you know, Lemon's had a lower body. It's kept them out. But obviously, he has a lot of past history. So, um, he's struggling to really see what the combination is and the rotation. You know, I don't, I don't know if we line up, you know, exactly who the other teams perceive, you know, as being the guy that they have to.
to stop. So I think we have a lot of work to do in that receiver position. Other questions? Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, thanks everybody. Guys.